Morgan Rubin, intern for Fish Talk Magazine, and today we're going to go over how to rig up a little tandem rig for shad fishing. Here's the basic shad rig that we're going to be learning to tie today. It's just a basic tandem rig. Uh, I like to use a shad dart on top and then a little spoon on the bottom. This particular spoon is a quarter ounce and the shad dart is a 1 16th ounce. And this is going to create a perfect setup for catching those shad running up the rivers in the spring. Okay, so here I'm going to demo how I like to tie the dropper loop, and I'm using 50 pound mono just so it is visible, uh, but typically I'm going to be using 12 pound fluorocarbon to tie my rig. So here with the 50 pound mono to demonstrate, I'm just doing the basic dropper loop, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how it's done. So first you're going to do a basic overhand knot, then you're going to take that tag in and thread it back to that loop about eight times. Next up we're going to grab that side of the loop and we're going to twist it about six, seven times to create another mini loop. We're going to take that little loop we just created and we are going to thread it through one of those twists. So in order to make a hole in the twist, you need to use your thumbnail uh, to make a hole in the twist and pull it out like so. Then you're going to grab that loop and push it through the twist loop that we just created. Once you pull that out, you're going to put it back onto something while you pull it, and you're not pulling by the tag end, you're grabbing the main line and the tag end, and you're cinching it tight, and boom, there you have a dropper loop rig. So now we're going to go ahead and actually rig it up using the spoon and the shad dart. So the rig we're learning to tie today is pretty interchangeable and you can use it with curly tail grubs, any sort of little like, panfish plastics that will work for shad. Um, so the key is just to use the heavier lure on the bottom and then whatever lighter lures that you're going to use is going to be on the top of the loop. So uh, for this particular case I'm using the quarter ounce spoon with that 3 16 ounce uh, little shad dart up there. So we're going to use that dropper loop again and you're going to leave about 10 to 12 inches of tag line this time because that's going to determine the length from the loop to your down to your spoon. So first we're going to make that overhand knot again and then we're going to go through that overhand knot we created about 8 times using that tag end. Once again, um, you're going to take that loop you created and you're going to twist it 6 to 7 times. and then you are going to make another loop again using that little twist. So you're going to grab the twists with your fingers and you're going to try to slip one of your fingernails in between one of those twists and loosen it up a little bit. Pull some of that uh, line out of one of those twists and you're just creating a loophole to put your um, tag end through. So now you're going to grab that small loop that you created and you're going to thread it right through that twist that you just pulled on. Same thing, uh, put it down on something while you cinch it, grab it by the main line and the tag end, cinch it down. So what's really nice about this rig is that you can uh, change out what lures you're using so you can switch up the weight of the shad dart that you're using which is really nice especially when you're fishing different currents and uh, the tides change so I like to go ahead and pinch it down and thread it right through that hook eye of the jig and once you do that you're just gonna pull it over the jig and then stitch it tight so it's gonna be held on there nice and snug about 10 to 12 inches above that spoon which is gonna give it a really nice jigging action uh, and they're gonna not gonna get tangled which is really nice So now we can move on to tie on the spoon on the bottom. So uh, you can use whatever your preferred knot is here, whatever you're comfortable with.
once we get that spoon tied on there, now I'm going to move on to tying a swivel to the end of the rig. This is going to allow for me to easily change out the rig uh, without having to cut it off and uh, that way I can reuse it and it also just allows for an easy clean tie right to my main line and it will also help prevent line twists. So I'm just using a small swivel, running it right on the end there and uh, whatever your preferred knot is once again. And there you have it, a completed Chad rig. Thanks for watching.